what was that, some Bruce or Dude. some Jet Li? So this game looks pretty fun, it looks entertaining. That's like me fighting a regular person. What if this entire level isn't actually happening, it's just like a, a bad <laughs> trip? What's going on everybody? My name is Cameron Fath. I'm a former Army Ranger and a current National Guard member. I'm here with a chick that can probably kick <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Gemma Nguyen. I am a seven time world champion in sport karate. I'm also an action actress and a stunt woman. And today we got something special for you. We're gonna be watching some Bio Mutant. This game looks ridiculous. It's got kung fu, it's got animals, animals and it's got <laughs> a lot of kapows, thwows, smacks. Flying and flips. Yeah, it's gonna be super cool. Swords, let's weapons, just, staff. Let's just jump into it. Yes. Let's go. So now we are watching Biomutant. Bio it's like Animorphs. Oh, are they doing Oh, they're so cute! Are they, is this what's known as a kata? A kata, yes. A kata, see. Si. I know a little bit of, about a karate. Uh, it was a blue, blue belt, belt with a green stripe. Oh, look at you, hot shots. Yeah. So what I was told about this game, it's kind of like founded in Kung Fu, which is kind mm -hmm. of an encompassing term for like Chinese martial arts. You might also hear it as like wushu. But that little bit right there when they were like flipping around mm -hmm. doing like gainers and so that was like a mix of like adding acrobatics, which is yeah. what like tricking is, tricking. like acrobatic martial arts. So yeah. it's kind of cool. They did a blend. Like a butterfly uh, in the corkscrew into a front ball kick. A butterfly corkscrew. Yeah. Like one, one thing. <laughs> yep, one thing. I'm just blending things I know. Hardcore parkour. <laughs> nice. So this game looks pretty fun. It looks entertaining. That's like me fighting a regular person. Yeah. That's literally, <laughs> that's accurate. Oh, Jeez, oh, care. that kip up. I actually have a background in Break dancing. You do yeah. break dance fighting. Yeah. No, not capoeira. <laughs> I'm just saying whenever someone says this. Yeah, break no, dance. not fighting. Oh, break it's weird. I had fighting. a very interesting upbringing. Like my mom put me in dance, and I became a professional dancer for hip hop when I was in high school. Oh snap! And then yeah. Oh what? But and then I did karate as well, and then I joined the army, and I forgot everything. <laughs> but I, I feel do like it. everyone's done like uh, some kind of karate. I feel like oh, us, absolutely. Like us growing up, like it was really popular, you know, with Ninja Turtles and Power yeah. Rangers and like all these different martial arts related shows, and it was like really cracking. So everyone my age kind of had like maybe an intro class. Like, yeah. I know a lot of people who I did. Sometimes I'm like, you got to brown belt, you were so close. You're like so yeah, I dropped out before I got to black belt. I'm like ah. What kind of animal is that? I think it's a Bum. Stuart Little. Stuart Little? Oh! <laughs> I like how it just lands on I know, him, and it's like, just like, congratulations, I... you passed! Oh, he's got some mad weapons on the back. Looks like he's got... Dude, I wish I could have a tail. It Do would you? make my air awareness so much better. Air awareness? Can yes. you go, what does that mean? Where you are in the air, mm. right? So if I'm doing a backflip, I have to know where all my body parts are, to oh. know, like the physics, that's in order to land properly. But like, if you have a tail, that's like an extra limb to kind of help stabilize you. Did you get to learn weapons at all? You said you started with broadsword? Yeah, broadsword, and then I went to firearms. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went did to, that transition. And then I leveled up. And then I leveled up to guns. What would you say is like, is there an OP martial artist weapon? Is there like meaning if you were equally trained on OP? overpowered? Gamer <laughs> terminology. I'm slowly learning people. Is there one weapon specifically that like you can't go wrong? Depends on who's wielding it, mm -hmm. but I would think like safe bet if you were like walking down the street, but whether it was an experienced martial artist or like a noob picking up a katana or a sword. Really? Because you don't need to really know strikes and stuff. Like a whip yeah. chain is very technical. You exactly. need to learn how to like maneuver that. But if you a random guy on the street picked up a katana, that's you know what, what I mean? That's what I'm it's, saying, yeah. man. I was so like, that's, that's why I'd I'm rather saying. fight a guy with a gun than I would like, with a dude you, with a knife. You know, if a person around the street picked up a pair of nunchucks, they probably end up hurting themselves yeah, they more than- Yeah, nut themselves or gut more, themselves. Yeah, you would yeah. need to know the like technique behind it to even wield it. So like I say katana because that's the easiest, mm -hmm. or an ax or something, you know what an I mean? Ax. Something that's like brute force, you just yeah. slice. Oh! Oh, yo! What was that? Some Bruce or Dude, some Jet Li? That, that was, was like crazy. He did like a vertical kick from the ground. His like upper body was like this, and his leg went up, yeah. and then he did some. That was some Jet Li stuff from Naruto. Is that Dude, Leaf Hurricane? Broccoli. Rock Is it broccoli? Did I say Jet Broccoli? Broccoli. <laughs> Broccoli is amazing. Ouch. 
Unstoppable pig! Unstoppable pig! <laughs> what the heck is that? Yeah, I need like that in my life. That's like a giant claymore type. Dude, that's some Final Fantasy that right is. there. Those things would be so Oh, what the Ooh, heck bang. is that? I love the special effects they add, you know, like the trailing of the weapons, mm -hmm. and obviously like when they attack, when the, the hits hit, but uh -huh. like it's kind of hard to track what they're doing. Plus Red. they're animals, so they all kind of look same, same. It's really hard to track what he's doing, and there's he's on fire. What's with the like huge thing in the back with the sex toy? The giant lumber dildo. <laughs> My favorite part is literally the uh, words that come off it, and it's like clink slot. I like how that's like a 20 hit combo in the air. I'll just. Da, 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 da. Yeah, dot you Make up some sushi up here. Yep. I'm really enjoying the line work with the kind of special effects trailing that they're doing. You can kind of see like, oh, it's kind oh, of see, here. Yeah. And then they're playing with like level changes too. Yeah. So it kind of keeps the action chaotic and very interesting to watch. I do like the mix between firearms and uh, martial art weapons. Yeah. Or just weapons. It's, a, it's a cool dynamic. It's like kind of like the, the best collide. of both worlds. Yeah. Oh, snap! Someone needs to fumigate that bitch! Yo, what? Look at them shroom. What if this entire level isn't actually happening? It's just like a, a bad trip. <laughs> Whoa! That thing's sick. Now the furries appear. Yeah. Oh, the furries? God. That is trippy! What the heck is that? It's like a three-headed polar bear slash... Why is it so colorful? It's like kind of cute. It's like a it's great like a white shark. shark. Yeah. Shark panda shark that lives in the ground. I think it's sick though. It Interesting breathe... character design. Yeah, if only it could breathe fire, that would be it for me. Here we go. Whack it on the yeah, head. Yeah. Um, with your bow staff, that'll dude, do it. Dude, use something with a blade, dog. Yeah. Well, okay, that'll you do it. You slapping a little stick. Oh. That'll do it, I guess. Tsunami thrust. They used to be my nickname in high school. Oh, word? Yeah. <laughs> That's such a badass nickname. I know. You wouldn't have a lot of room to work if some dude is just laying on top of you. Oh. B. All right, he's gonna go, he's gonna throw him up in the air. Let's just go. So, but like these smacks? I wouldn't think they'd do much. Yeah, you're definitely right. You'd need like a blade or Yeah, like you'd need something to penetrate that fool. Realistically, right? Like if you were that small and you were fighting an opponent that big, yeah. those little slaps really wouldn't do much. Wouldn't Especially do on three heads. Yeah, three heads with lots of teeth and really sharp claws. <laughs> it's like, here, let me stab you with a chopstick. Yeah, if this was me, I'd be in that building back there with like a goose, which is a 84 millimeter cannon. And I'd be just- It's called a goose? Yeah, Gustav, Carl Gustav. Oh. So it's like a rocket launcher. Yeah. That's badass. It is badass. It's I would be like badass. the decoy right here, be like, whoa, whoa, yeah. and you could freaking like, kill hey, shot. Hey, go run in front of it so it gets distracted. <laughs> 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 So what I find really interesting as well too is they play with a lot of different grips and like different sword like handling, like how they hold the sword reverse grip or forward grip. Are we talking like fighting stance with like southpaw and like reverse southpaw, kind of like that? This is something similar in the sword stance? Yeah, like when you say sword stances, I mean for me, a lot of the martial arts stances kind of are similar. You have the front stance, back yeah. stance, horse stance, all those guys. You know, when you dive more into like each particular weapon, like what stances specifically you can do that kind of carries mm. out the more efficiency of the weapon, I right? See, see. To get more power out of it. He's getting fancy with like all the different reverse grips and like switching it up. Mm -hmm. For me, when I do sword stuff, I kind of keep it like just this, this grip right here, the forward grip. I mean, if you get good enough where you can confidently switch around, it helps for movement and unpredictability. I right, see. so if you're like turning around, you can stab this way, you could go. But then you risk fumbling, fumbling and the losing your weapon. Yeah. yeah so. I can see how like a reverse or like a sword stance with the blade in the rear could generate more power, but it's slower, so it's all like totally. scenario based. Mm -hmm. But it's you know it's nice to know that you could be like poof, and like yeah. different. It's to switch it up and be more unpredictable with your opponent. I specifically remember when I was studying broadsword that the ribbon was meant as a distraction. Yes, so same with like the spear. The spear, yeah. With the so red little, the red like, little poof thing. on it, yeah. So that's why all the spins come in handy because you it makes the blade unpredictable and they get caught up by the ribbon. It's and distracting. Also, it is distracting. They're like, oh, wow. And like, oh, pretty. And then just slice them in half. Yes. <laughs> oh, those are yeah, my guts. My with intestines, you can just stack them right back on. Just, and just jangle that? Yeah. You literally just, uh, no, you pile them up on the tummy and then they will literally just by themselves go back into play. And yeah, it's crazy. Well, that was mind boggling. Who knew you can fit that much action into That's such a small crazy. game? That's crazy, I know. I Lots know. of uh, owls and flipping. Kapow, and smacks, flacks. and yeah. animal. It was a cool concept. Cruelty. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> PETA, stay away from this game if you don't want your feelings hurt. But that was really, really awesome to see how they blended, you know, animalistic movement with mm -hmm. martial arts. It was really cool. It was a lot it of fun cool. to watch. Hopefully you enjoyed it as oh, much no, as I did. Oh no, I learned us. Thank you, Master. 
I appreciate <laughs> that. And if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and let us know in the comments. And if you want more videos like this, or you just want to see our faces again, check out Gameology on Facebook and YouTube. And you guys can find us as well on socials. I'm on Instagram at Gemasaur. And I am Cameron C. Fath on Instagram. And you can find me on my streetwear page, Kick Got Apparel. Till next time, guys. Take it easy. Bye. Oh, wait. Three, two, one. Ta-da. See you later, crocodile. <laughs> later, alligator. Was that like a cross bro? Bro. Cross bro? Cross bro. Is that a cross bro?